This is life. There are no free lunches, and you can't break even. Dr. Fizz, Theoretical Physics, The Laws of Thermodynamics. The first law is the law of conservation of energy, which states that the change in energy of the system is equal to the heat you put into it minus the work done by the gas as it expands. Conservation of energy. You can't get something for free. The second law of thermodynamics can be stated as the total entropy increases. Delta S is your change in entropy, which is equal to delta Q that's done at a constant temperature. And you can imagine lots of delta Qs at different temperatures and do integration of these things. Remember, delta S is a good variable to integrate, and we can replace the W so that delta W is PdV. And when we do that, we get this nice little result here, delta U equals TdS, delta S minus P delta V, all good variables, well-defined for the system at any you know, final initial point. Well, let's look at the second law in terms of our engines. We have here a nice diagram for an engine. Remember, in an engine, you take in some heat, you like fire up a gas at some high temperature, you get heat flowing in, you do some work, gas expands, and you give up some heat, and that's at a cooler you know, temperature. So I have the subscript C for cold and H for hot. Well, the uh, second law of thermodynamics, which says you can't break even, means that you must waste some. This can't be zero. Q sub C must be non-zero. The efficiency is given by the ratio, the work that you do, the gas does, all right, the network that is done by the gas divided by the heat you put into it. Now, there is a conservation of energy here from the first law that says that the work that you're going to get out of the system is the difference of these Qs. You know, the heat that flows in is going to be shared with work and heat dumped. Pollution, thermal pollution, along with other kinds of pollution because of the fuel. So we subtract the heats QH minus QC and divide by QH, and we get this nice result, which is one minus the ratio of the cold to the hot Q. And since the, uh, the heat here is larger than the heat that you dump, this is going to subtract from one, and the efficiency eta, eta will be less than one, and that's the second law of thermodynamics. Here's a nice diagram, a engine here in reverse. Work is used to get heat pumped away from down here. So you really here are dumping a lot, say, into the uh, environment here because you have, you, know, you have your work, you have your work that's going to go up here in terms of heat plus some heat you're pulling out of a refrigerator to keep the refrigerator cool.